Praise the Lord to all the viewers in the name of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. My purpose of this video is to look through the scriptures to see how coronavirus is the mark of the beast. Because evangelical Christians are confused and there is a lot of chaos. As per CNN news channel, it seems 45% of evangelical Christians, which is 41 million evangelical Christians, do not want to take Corona vaccine because they feel Corona vaccine is the mark of the beast. They are misled by lot of false prophets and the false prophecies who tend to claim that coronavirus is the mark of the beast and they are publicly telling in their local churches do not take the corona vaccine because it is the mark of the beast we are covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and we do not need to take very corona vaccine because but this is a danger these people are giving wrong reasoning and deceiving many people 41 million according to the Pew Research Center and 45 percent of them say they definitely slash probably won't get the shot experts say what some evangelical pastors preached from the pulpit for months and months likely had a profound effect in shaping their opinions do not put the vaccine no reciba la vacuna Believe in the blood of Jesus. Crea en la sangre de Jesús. Believe in divine immunity. That is Pastor Guillermo Maldonado, whose church in Miami has been a must visit for. Maldonado reportedly said that the fear that kept people home was, quote, a demonic spirit. And he also said this I can't go to church today. Why? Because I think Apostle is going to have the virus. <laughs> if we die, we die for Christ. And somebody get a little close, they go. That's called germophobic. Watch this. You think I'm sucking the virus off of her? I came today to declare victory over the virus. COVID-19! COVID-19! On you. On you. You are destroyed forever. You are, you are destroyed, destroyed forever. forever. And you will never be back. That last one was Texas megachurch pastor Kenneth Copeland. There is no pandemic. That is John MacArthur, megachurch pastor in L.A., who told his followers last uh, August while holding indoor services. 41 million constitutes to a la large number. So let us see why they think Corona vaccine is the mark of the beast. Actually, who is the mark of the beast spoken in Revelations 13, 16 to 17? We see Antichrist is a military dictator, a superpower who tends to come in the end times. He will be supported by 10 nations and the false prophet. He tend to control the buying and selling across the world. Those who tend to worship the Antichrist will tend to have the mark of the beast on their forehead and their hand. Only then they will be able to buy and sell. But those who tend to have the mark of the beast God's wrath will be upon them. And those who do not have the mark of the beast on their forehead and their hand, who are God's chosen people, predestined people, who tend to understand the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, who tend to deny to take the mark of the beast, they will be persecuted. They will not be able to buy and sell anything. They will be killed also. But then, God tend to give eternal life to those who do not have the mark of the beast. So the triple six is not the mark of the beast. Triple six is the number of the Antichrist. 
But the mark of the beast is very mysterious, we cannot tell now. So the Antichrist will come with deceiving, deceptive strategies which we need to interpret being in wise. So that's how the Revelation 13 last verse says, let a wise person understand the mark of the beast. It is so mysterious unless we have close fellowship with God, unless God helps us to interpret, we will not be able to understand what is this mark of the beast. If we lack any wisdom in understanding what the mark of the beast is, we need to pray for God's help so that God may give us knowledge and wisdom to interpret this mark of the beast. Now, let us look through the scriptures when the mark of the beast, the Antichrist, will come into the global arena. We see as per 2nd Thessalonica, 2nd chapter, we clearly see Paul telling when Antichrist tend to come to the global platform, the entire world tend to recognize him. So it is not a secret thing when Antichrist comes. The entire world tend to know it. And then we also see as per, uh, we need to understand God has already given a plan for the end of this world which is 70 weeks. There is a video which I have explained in my YouTube channel how to interpret 70 weeks. 70 weeks is nothing but 490 years. So Daniel 9 has clearly been elaborated in my video. 69 weeks are already over. 483 years are already over. Last seven years are left. Those last seven years are the Great Tribulation. Those seven years are the time when the Antichrist tend to come to the global arena and he will have a deceptive false treaty between Israel and the Palestinian nations. So that is the time when the Antichrist tend to come into the global platform the first act what he tends to do is to have a peace treaty between Israel and Palestinian nations. Also see through the scriptures in Daniel 7, 24 and 25 and Revelation 17, 7 that God's appointed time for the Antichrist is only three and a half years in this seven years. So Antichrist tend to put his deceptive strategies sometime at the midpoint not all through the seven years. We will have Antichrist working towards peace, working towards building the economic system of the world. So he'll be busy in the first three and a half years. He will be creating a platform for himself with the support of the false prophet and the ten nations. So at midpoint, at three and a half years, he is going to put the deceptive strategies and the mark of the beast, the buying and selling, may come sometime at the midpoint. Now that you have seen three principles, how to interpret whether Corona vaccine is the mark of the beast in relation to the scriptures, let us compare these three principles against the current situation. First, we see that Antichrist has not come to the global platform as it as Paul said in 2nd Thessalonica 2nd chapter the entire world will know him so he still did not come so when Antichrist himself did not come where does his mark of the beast tend to come first point second point the mark of the beast is given only three and a half years approved by God as part of God's sovereign plan and God's providence. So his strategy of mark of the beast tend to come sometime at the midpoint of seven years. We did not, we did not see the peace treaty happening between Israel and Palestinian nations. We cannot say the seven year tribulation has started it. When the seven years tribulation has not started it, how can you calculate the midpoint of three and a half years to say the Antichrist is going to control buying and selling and putting his worshippers the mark of the beast on their forehead and the forehand 
And the third thing, in order for Antichrist to have a control over the world through buying and selling, the digitalization should be 100%. But do you think we are at 100% digitalization? Are you not still making any cash transactions? We still, yes, in last two years, when these apps of, Google, uh, of phone pay, Google pay, Paytm, when they have come, yes, even the villages tend to use the digitalization has improved tremendously. But having said that, we are not still 100% yet for the mark of the beast to have the control of selling and buying through digitalization. Third principle failed. Looking at all these reasons, do you think Corona vaccine is the mark of the beast? We are not as at. We need to understand vaccine is a gift from God. Science is the creation of God. Science is the gift of God. And if there is any vaccine which is coming, we are supposed to use it for our health. We should not make false choices. We should not be deceived by false prophets and false prophecies. But we need to read the Bible and understand what the Bible is speaking about it. We need to have a clear understanding through the scriptures so that we are not deceived by people. The moment you read the word of God more and you pray more and ask for God's wisdom more, as per James 1.5, you tend to interpret things in line to the scripture. You don't depend upon people, but you depend upon the word of God. Because ultimately, it is the scripture which we are supposed to validate, not what we tend to hear. Whatever we tend to hear, we need to interpret in line to the scripture. As we see in Acts 17.11, Paul tend to say, these people are fair and noble than those at Thessalonians because they verified the scriptures. What John tend to tell in 1 John 4, 1, test every spirit which is coming, whether it is from God or evil. So when you are deceived by these false prophets and false prophecies, you tend to be in deception. So to conclude, Corona vaccine is not the mark of the beast. We are still, the peace treaty has not happened. Antichrist did not come to this global platform as it. Maybe yes, he is in the world right now. He may be watching the conflict between Israel and Palestine, what currently going on. Yes, we are nearing the peace treaty. Maybe the Antichrist, who the world did not recognize as it, may be working on some peace treaty to be brought between Israel and Palestinians. Yes, we are closer in last two years to the end times, but still we are not as that, because even the digitalization is not ready as well for the mark of the beast to use that. I hope you understood and you liked the video. So I will request you to please subscribe, like and share to your friends and neighbors and within your church. May God bless you. And thank you.